Hi friends, this is Mohamad Gibran and welcome to C Sharp Tutorials. In the previous video, we were able to add the data regarding the student into the database. And in this video, I'll show you how to add images to your database. We'll be uploading the images to a folder in our computer somewhere. We will not be uploading it directly to the database since it's uh, not a good practice. So we will be going to store all the data images in a separate folder. So as you already know, I have dragged and dropped an image folder, over, image box over here, a picture box over here. So uh, what you need to do is uh, first the user will select a photo to upload over here. So that will be done using uh, clicking by clicking this button. So when I double click this, I'll go to the code behind. First of all, I'll be using some uh, string like. Uh, full path and uh, extension okay so these two uh, variables I'll be requiring and uh, in the this button click I'll be writing the code to uh, upload the image so give me a second let me write that for you and I'll explain you in just a moment okay so as soon as this button click button is clicked I'll be opening one open file dialog from where the user can browse to the location wherever he wants so that he can uh, select for a file and then we are filtering the files the type of files which will be displayed by the its extension it can be an jpg it can be a png or jpeg files with the extensions so this is the format you need to follow to filter the type of files you would not like to upload a file a text file as an image of the uh, student so that's the reason you need to go for filters then we'll be we are checking if the user has selected a file and hit ok that is he has selected a file and said ok i wanted i want to upload this file if that is true then we are storing its name that images name into a variable image okay then that image i'm opening that in the my picture box so this is the uh, image which I am getting from my open file dialog. I am storing that, opening that in the picture box 1. And the size mode of the picture box is stretch image. This can be done from uh, uh, design view also. You can select this and you can right click over here and you can just uh, make it stretch image. What it will do is it will either, uh, if your image is small, it will try to enlarge it. If your image is smaller, then it will. Uh, if your image is smaller, it will try to enlarge it, or if it is larger, it will try to minimize it, so that it fits into this box. And uh, once you have that image displayed, then what I am doing is, I am, uh, I am just giving the name of that image, or the complete complete location of that image, to my uh, text box which is over here this text box will show you the complete path of the image so I'm getting it from over here and then I'm taking that same path see I'm writing the same thing into my variable full path and then I'm getting the extension of the image using path dot get extension I'm getting the extension of the image and the complete path of the image and I'm storing that in full path and the extension if this completes successfully i'm showing no errors if it occurs any if here any error occurs then i'm giving a small error over here so once this is done till now we have just selected the image let me just go and show you what's happening over here i will just set uh, select and i will select one image and i will just say open you can see we are able to get the image and we have the complete path of that image so this is we accomplished till now and uh, now we'll try to upload that into a directory so for that give me a second so i wrote a function over here or a method over here with a variable name pick name and i am i'm going to change the name of that image according to the roll number of the student so for that this uh, text box is the beginning text box of the roll number over here and uh, this text box is the ending roll number 
So I'm going to add this uh, uh, pick name or get this pick name using the roll numbers. Okay. So text box roll number begin. This is this text box and this is this text box. Using I'm uh, getting both of them and then I'm uh, appending it or then I'm uh, or I am concatenating it with the extension which uh, I was getting uh, by uploading the pick and then I'm storing that complete thing in the pick name and then I am uh, uh, storing one location that is C and folder images into a variable that is subpath and I'm checking if that folder exists using system.io.directory.exists okay so uh, uh, if this exists is uh, true okay if this is true then I'm not going to do anything if it is not true then I would like to go and create this directory so I will use this create directory method to create this images folder in this location and once I have that folder I will just copy that complete image path with this in this folder and this image name okay with this name so let me try to execute this so that you can understand what was going on and let me tell you you need to imp uh, use this uh, using statement so that you can work with the files and all so let me just run it and I'll show you the output I'll upload and I'll select a pick and I'll hit ok let me just uh, what I'll do I'll just uh, comment this everything out and uh, I will call this function add pick to add the pick we'll just add the pick and we'll not do anything else so now we'll try to run this I'll upload a pick now I have the pick and as soon as I hit this key I should be getting complete thing into that folder okay so now I can you can see that uh, I'm into that uh, add pick method and my pick name now it is having the extension oh I just forgot that let me just uh, try to do that again everything we'll just upload use a pick and we'll upload it and we'll give a, a name to it like a a a a a days and then I'll go and lie write two zips okay then I'll hit save so now if you see in the pick name what you have is 8 A's and 2 Z's dot jpg now this will be the new uh, image name previously it was something else now I'm changing it to uh, this name I'm adding the first 8 and then the 2 with the extension into the pick name variable and now I'm going to check uh, do I have one directory in my C folder uh, as you can see I don't have any directory named as images over here so <coughs> my code should create that for me so I'm checking if anything like that exists so my exist is false so it means that there is no image with the no folder named as images in my C directory so this will go and create the directory and I will come out of it and if I just go and see I have a directory with the name images over here but with no images right now so I'll just go and uh, we'll go to the next step to will copy it now I've just successfully copied it so we'll just go and open my images folder and as you can see I have an image over here with the same name which you saw over there so this is how you upload images so this was it for this uh, video and uh, rest you can do everything uh, like we did we are done with the add form in the next video we'll be working with the edit student form okay so till then thanks for watching the video and hope you liked it